Mm, I'm gone. I'm sorry. You not going to cut me and not going to eyeball nothing. You going to try to do the size you said you're going to do. And that's it. Period. <laughs> Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Miss Kayla, and I'm back with a new video. So in today's video, girl, I'm gonna be giving you all the juice on this whole breast reduction surgery on what I feel like they don't tell people and I'm gonna be telling you what they don't tell you, sis, when you get a breast reduction. Drinking tonight, I'm sipping some Crown Royal Green Apple with some cranberry juice. It's cranberry juice, it's the cran tropical flavor. It's new, get you some, it's so good. Give you some tips on some things that they don't tell you when you get a breast reduction. So if you are interested and you wanna know, make sure you keep watching. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and yes, let's get into this video. So I feel like it is so important as a surgery community, as a breast reduction community, I try to give you guys as much information as I can because I, was that person that always tries to find information when it came to the surgery. And you just want to overall look out for the next person. Like, you know, everyone wants to be aware of things that they don't want to get themselves in. I put together five things that they don't tell you when you get a breast reduction and what you should know on. These are just things that I felt like should have been told by a doctor or, you know, just by researching. Um, these are things that I have experienced, so this is not just stuff that I'm making up. But yeah, these are things that I've experienced and I want to share with you guys. And maybe and hopefully it can help people that are looking to get a reduction or that has had a reduction already. So let's go ahead and get into the first one. So the first thing that they don't tell you, breasts grow back really fast and they will grow back. Your boobs can grow back like this. I can speak for myself. When I gain weight, I gain weight in my breast area. My other video, my one year update, I want it to be as small as I can possibly be because I know how my body is and I know that my breasts can grow back because in 2013, I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost 40 pounds and my breast was actually really, really small. And when I gained the weight back, of course my breast grew as well. When I went into my surgery, I went in at a weight of 180, I believe, which was not really the weight I'm supposed to be at. I had gained weight due to depression. And being as though I really wanted the surgery, I just went in with that weight without trying to lose weight and just hoped that my doctor would just go small, which she, she did, it, she went, small but she didn't go as small as i wanted yes you want to be careful because once you get the surgery it is a big transition and your body is really going to be confused and once you get settled and a year goes by your boobs are definitely going to change you're going to see some changes now you have a really really good doctor that listens to you and that is looking for the best for you then you might not have that issue but nine times out of ten a lot of women that i follow and you know these surgery pages that i follow a lot of them were not happy with the results because the doctor didn't go as small as they would like or for the simple fact, they just grew back. Try to be healthy, try to stay active, just try to avoid a lot of carby type of food. Just watch what you eat. Very careful on what I eat now because these things will grow back. Um, I like the size they are right now. I do wish they was a tad bit smaller, but I am working out. So once I work out and do my cardio and lose like 10 pounds, I'm pretty sure my breasts will shrink. That's what they really don't say to you i'm just letting you know that they will and they can grow back so that is something that a doctor should mention to you my doctor she wasn't really detailed it was kind of like an in and out thing do you have these conversations when you are doing your consultation the um, breast reduction surgery is an emotional roller coaster this is the second thing that they don't tell you i don't know if it's like that with every surgery but just speaking this is the only surgery i've had you go through your phases of i wish i wish it was like this i wish i was this size i wish i didn't do it i wish you go through these phases and you get so emotional or oh i wish i can go outside and flaunt my new breasts i wish 
Um, they weren't this small, I wish they weren't this big. So you go through different things and it just attacks you. It just comes out of nowhere. When you are stuck in one place and you're healing, your mind wanders. And that's what happened to me. Like I was so depressed just laying in bed for like a week straight. I had to get up and go outside and walk at the lake and just get some fresh air and get my mind back because I honestly felt like I was going to break down and not just the recovery phase. So the whole year that went past, I did go through my emotions of me wanting smaller, um, want, me wanting a smaller size. And then I went through another phase where I'm like, no, I really like them. I like how plump they look and they, how perky they look. So you're going to get that motion um you're definitely gonna go through a phase where you're depressed and you're happy and then you want this side you wish you didn't go through it and i think it's just your body and your mind playing games on you but really just appreciate the process trust the process and take care of yourself and this is something they're not going to mention to you and i don't like i said i don't know if it's with every surgery but it definitely has played a part on me i definitely went through an emotional phase where i was just like I don't know if this was the right thing to do. Like I should have gotten a doctor that maybe went with the size I wanted, but it's kind of like you have to be grateful. And like I say, my whole part of being grateful was the recovery part because I didn't have any complications. I was complication free and that was the most important thing for me. So definitely try to go in with the right mindset, but just realize you're human. You're gonna have your ins and outs. You're gonna have your worries and you're gonna stress a little bit but it's okay sis you're gonna get through it this is so bomb like the mixture is just perfect and the next thing that they don't tell you is that well they kind of do tell you this but <laughs> i don't know so the next one is some areas will stay numb forever um i read this i don't know how true it is but i do follow a page on google it's called real self or self real something like that some parts of your breasts the sensation won't come back or your breast feeling won't come back so like i've mentioned in my previous video that my breast my left breast i don't have no feeling so like it's completely numb on the bottom but like at the top i can feel everything but like my sensation is not there yet and it scares me that it's not going to come back because it's like I feel like it's, it feels like it's coming, but then it goes away. So I'm still giving it time being so I'm only one year post-op, but like I read some articles where women say it doesn't come back at all. So that's a little frightening for me because I'm just like, damn, like my whole bottom breast is numb. Like, is it ever gonna come back? So it's something you're taking, it's a risk you're taking. Um, it, in my medical work, it did not say that, at least I didn't see it. The doctor definitely didn't mention it, but I'm just letting you know, sis, that if you do proceed with the surgery, I'm no perfect by any chance. Let me just throw that out there. I'm no doctor. I don't know everything. I'm just telling you my experience. It might not come back. So my left breast did not come back. I'm not saying yours won't, but it is something to um, take into consideration when you're getting this breast reduction. But just make sure you have a conversation with your doctor and yeah, you will be good. So the next thing that they don't tell you is you can't pick your bra size. So this is a, a, a um, touchy little topic because I've seen so, first of all, I follow one girl on YouTube. I don't remember her name, but she is in the breast reduction community on YouTube. She went three months later and got another one because her doctor didn't go the size she wanted. Now, I've also seen things where they say they felt like male doctors have this ideal in their mind that women want bigger breasts and that's not the case. Like some women done had this their whole life and this is not what they want anymore. Like it's extra weight, it's extra baggage, it's hurts your back. I did tell my doctor that I wanted to be a certain size, which was a C cup, and she told me the lowest she can go is a D due to um, say, you know, reasons and, you know, just overall safety and she can only do that. So that's what I took and ran with it. 
Now, like I said, I could have waited, I could have shopped around, but because this is something I wanted, I just went with it. But it is a lot of women that go in for a second reduction because their doctor didn't go the size they want or because they grew back. I kind of feel a certain way when your doctor just chooses the size for you. Like, knowing you know your body type, I'm telling you what I want and I understand this is what you can do, but give me a reason why. If it's not due to the state, if it's because that's what they want, then no, you need to go somewhere else. Um, Don't let them try to talk you into, oh, this will look nice on you. And, no, no, only you know your body, you know what's right for you. And you know, even though a D was close to a C, you mentioned a D, I was like, okay, a D is close to a C, so I'm not even that far of a cup off, but I'm not a D, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, damn, I took and ran with it and I'm not even a D cup, I'm an F. Listen to myself the first time and been patient, things would have been different, but like I always tell you guys, I'm not mad, I'm just, you know, I'm just in that stage where I'm learning and I'm learning to be a little bit more patient. They don't really give you the size you want, and I've seen this all around the community. I've done my research. I've seen a lot of, I follow a lot of Facebook groups, um, YouTube videos. Now, some women are very lucky. Like I know if you go overseas, they do a really, really good job of getting you like almost a B cup, but ain't nobody trying to go overseas, especially right now. So just take your time. Don't rush. And I also heard like insurances, it's different things, but they were saying like insurances only cover a certain amount. And the more tissue you take out, the more it costs. So I hear different things. I don't know what's true or not, so don't quote me. But I do know that when a doctor gives you a certain size, you just gotta kind of think what, what's best for you and what you're, you only you know your body. So you have to keep that in mind at the end of the day. Another thing is a girl that I follow, she was telling me that her doctor, her doctor's a male. Now this is crazy. She told me her doc said he don't give out cup sizes, which I know doctors are not perfect. I don't know what they do when they cut you open and you sleep. But he, she said, he said, he don't give out cup sizes. He just eyeball. Meaning he just look when you in surgery on the table and he just do what he can do. Now, if a doc told me that, um, I'm gone. I'm sorry. You not gonna cut me and not gonna eyeball nothing. You gonna try to do the size you said you gonna do. And that's it, period. On to the next one. Thing that they don't tell you, which is the last one, that your procedure might reduce breast cancer. I didn't notice up until recently. Of course, by you removing breast tissue, you're kind of taking pounds off of you. When you're healthy and you're at a slimmer size, you reduce chances of breast cancer. Also, your breast tissue, they're supposed to send it off and so that your tissue can get checked for any cancer cells, precancer cells, all that good stuff. Normal days, if it's not a genetic thing, most women like in their 20s or early 30s, they don't really go for mammograms. So it's really good that your doctor can send, um, which most doctors do, they send your breast tissue off so that they can, you know, screen it and see what's going on, if there's any complications with it, and let you know they're supposed to do that. So make sure you um, follow with your doctor to see if that's something that they offer. And I think it's a really good idea so you can know, you know, if your tissue is healthy and see if there's anything going on abnormal. Breast cancer has just been going around a lot. You wanna make sure you're healthy, working out. Try to choose one green juice a month or a week. Um, just, you know, like spinach, kale, all those green leafy things are really good for your body. Making sure you're taking your vitamins. My mom passed away from breast cancer, so I always try to make sure I'm doing the right thing and just trying to be overall healthy. I do get a mammogram once a year because mine is genetic and I try to be that up to date. When I got my breast reduction, well, before I got my breast reduction pre-op, I had to get a mammogram to make sure everything was good before surgery. So I am due for another one and I ain't gonna hold you. Like I'm a little scared because after my breast reduction, I just been like a little traumatized a little bit. Like I don't want no one touching my breasts. Like I'm just scared. You know, when you do a mammogram, they put your whole titty on top of a thing and clamp it. So I'm kind of scared. Even though they're healed, I'm just a little scared. 
So yes, you want to make sure you're getting your mammograms and it's being overall healthy. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is my top five things that they really don't tell you about a birth reduction. Make sure you ask some questions. Make sure you follow up with your doctor. Making sure you're taking care of yourself and sis, do your research. If you have any questions, link them below or you can send me a DM on my Instagram at miss.klove. I'm always here to answer questions and I just overall love being the support that I can be. And as always, loves, be fun, be blessed, be better. Better, but always be yourself says so you loves in my next video. Bye.